Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. Things have been happening to me recently. I got this new chair that doesn't creak when you sit on it the wrong way. I got this new watch and a new bracelet. Although I have no idea why these things are happening, I don't remember any of these things happening, so it must be some kind of magic. Or maybe I'm just becoming loony. Ah, uh, a 10 year old average kid that nobody understands who has fairy godparents. The Fairly Odd Parents, one of Nickelodeon's most popular cartoons of all time. This show stars Timmy Turner, a 10 year old kid who has a sad life, so he received two fairies named Cosmo and Wanda that will grant his every wish, within the limits of the rules. The show takes place in Dinsdale, California, and focuses on Timmy's antics with his fairies. Anybody who's heard of Nickelodeon would also know about the Fairly Odd Parents, just like they would have known about Spongebob. For a while, they were the two most popular Nickelodeon cartoons. Spongebob was the most popular, and still is, and the Fairly Odd Parents was always playing catch up with Spongebob. The Fairly Odd Parents was created by Butch Hartman, an American animator and writer who is most well known for his work at Nickelodeon. Unfortunately, unlike Spongebob, the Fairly Odd Parents cartoon has ended and is no longer airing on TV, even in reruns. But like Spongebob, the Fairly Odd Parents has left quite an impact on Nickelodeon and has a history that's just as interesting as Spongebob, if not more so. And I've been wanting to talk about it for a while, so why not now, right? You don't even have to say right back because I know you feel the same. Yeah. So for those of you who thought I was some kind of Spongebob only fan, the joke's on you because I'm not. I like way more than just Spongebob. It's not my fault if everything else on Nickelodeon these days is just bullshit live action shows or cartoons or dog sh Spongebob spinoffs. So for today's history of the Fairly Odd Parents, it's going to be a basic history spanning the show's development, when the seasons came out, how the quality changed over the years, etc. And since this show didn't have as big an impact on society as Spongebob did, there actually won't be a lot outside of the regular show to talk about. And that's about it. I don't have as many rules this time, so without further ado, let's get started. The development of the Fairly Odd Parents traces all the way back to the 90s. At the time, Butch Hartman, the creator, was working at Hanna-Barbera, which produced TV shows like Johnny Quest and Scooby-Doo. In 1991, Turner Broadcasting System purchased Barbera and used its back catalog as TV shows for Cartoon Network. In 1997, Fred Seibert, who was working on a cartoon anthology series called Oh Yeah Cartoons, contacted Butch Hartman to pitch ideas for Oh Yeah Cartoons. At the time, Hartman was working on Johnny Bravo, so he initially declined the offer. A few months later when the show ended, Butch Hartman decided to start making his own work instead. Butch Hartman started brainstorming and came up with the kid who would eventually become Timmy Turner. The character was originally going to be named after Butch Hartman's brother, Mike. That's me! Then a little falling out occurred between Butch and Mike, so he named the character after his other brother, Tim. He debated on making Timmy a boy genius, but changed his mind because of Dexter's Laboratory being popular at the time, so he decided to focus on magic instead of science. He created a fairy godmother who would eventually become Wanda, and then a fairy godfather who would eventually become Cosmo, because he had not seen a fairy godmother at the time of making the show. After writing the pitch, he showed it to Cartoon Network, but they turned it down. Harmon went back to Fred Seibert and pitched it to him, and Seibert agreed to have it a part of Oh Yeah Cartoons. Like most shows, the Fairly Odd Parents went through working titles and character redesigns. In this case, the original titles were The Fairy Godparents to Oh My Godparents and ultimately landed on The Fairly Odd Parents. The Fairly Odd Parents was originally created as a 7 minute short film so the format would work for Oh Yeah cartoons. He also created Vicky, the evil babysitter, and created Timmy's parents. And I say it like that because his mom and dad were intended to have very minimal roles in these short films so they didn't design faces. Hartman made 9 more of these 7 minute short films, bringing the total to 10. Voice actors were cast including Darren Norris as Cosmo, Suzanne Blakesley as Wanda, Grey Delisle Griffin as Vicky, and Mary Kay Bergman as Timmy Turner. Oh Yeah Cartoons aired on Nickelodeon from July 18, 1998 to July 19, 2002, and the Fairly Odd Parents shorts aired from September 4, 1998 to March 23, 2001. 
The shorts were very popular, and Nickelodeon decided to turn the shorts into a full-fledged TV show, alongside other classic Nickelodeon cartoons that came from Oh yeah Cartoons, like Chalk Zone and My Life as a Teenage Robot. As time went on, many changes to the series and characters were made. Cosmo's voice got much higher pitched, Timmy's parents were given faces and redesigned completely, and more characters like Chester, AJ, and Mr. Crocker were created. Unfortunately, Mary Kay Bergman passed away in 1999, so Tara Strong was cast to fill the role as Timmy Turner. At some point, the crew went back and redubbed the shorts on Oh yeah Cartoons to have Tara voice Timmy. In 2000, Nickelodeon ordered six half hours of the show, and finally, on March 30th, 2001, The Fairly Odd Parents premiered on TV with the episodes The Big Problem and Power Man, alongside Invader Zim. Throughout 2001, those six half hours aired, and as the ratings went up, more seasons and episodes were ordered. It didn't take long for the show to become popular, and soon was Nickelodeon's second highest rated cartoon right behind Spongebob. Of course. Later that year, some Crimson Chin anime shorts showing Timmy working with the Crimson Chin as Clef the Boy Chin Wonder came on TV. At the end of the year, on December 9, 2001, the next episode, Christmas Every Day, premiered, which is sometimes considered part of Season 1, but most of the time it's considered to be a part of Season 2. What the hell? By 2002, Season 2 officially premiered and the show became a big icon. Later on, in November 8th, 2002, Season 3 premiered, and the following year in 2003, the show's first TV movie, Abra Catastrophe, premiered, and it was a huge success. At the end of the year, Season 4 premiered on November 7th, 2003, and had another TV movie called Channel Chasers, which has enough emotion to make it seem like it was originally written as a series finale. That same year, we also got classics like School's Out the Musical, which was the actual season finale, and the famous Jimmy Timmy Power Hour, the first of three crossover movies between the Fairly Odd Parents and the adventures of Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. Interestingly, the following year, on July 2nd, 2004, season 5 premiered. It started with the episode Crash Nebula, but that episode was produced as part of season 4. Butch Hartman created it with the intent on making a Crash Nebula spin-off. Unfortunately, it didn't take off. At the time, not only was Butch Hartman working on The Fairly Odd Parents, but Danny Phantom as well, which premiered on TV that same year. Season 4 ended in 2005, and Season 5 continued all throughout 2005 and 2006. That same year, we also got more TV movies like Fairy Idol, as well as Jimmy Timmy Power Hour 2, When Nerds Collide, and Power Hour 3, The Jerkinators. Originally, both the Fairly Odd Parents and Jimmy Neutron were going to end together on July 21st, 2006 with the premiere of The Jerkinators. But the final two episodes, Timmy the Barbarian and No Substitute for Crazy, aired on November 25th, 2006, and that was going to be the end of the Fairly Odd Parents. And all throughout 2007, Nickelodeon did not premiere a single new episode. However, on February 2nd, 2007, Hartman announced the show was renewed, and on July 7, 2007, a TV marathon called 77 Secrets of the Fairly Odd Parents was held and revealed that the show would gain a new main character. The following year, on February 18, 2008, the show returned with Season 6 and premiered with Fairly Odd Baby, which gained 8.8 .8 million views and became the most viewed episode of the series. And while this is a pretty monumental moment of the show, it also marked a turning point. Starting with this season, every season gradually got worse over time. More characters were introduced and staples of the series like Chester and AJ just faded away over time. The following year in 2009, there was a movie trilogy called Wishology, which again, feels like it has a lot of action and emotion to feel like a finale. But overall, season 6 also started another big reason why the show went downhill. It could be due to a lot of reasons, like new main characters introduced and not adding a whole lot, the jokes taking more of a priority than the story, and some characters being dumbed down to the point where they were unlikable and a little insufferable, but the reason I've seen discussed the most is that Timmy was more neglected than ever. Of course, neglection was the reason he got his fairies in the first place, but even his own fairies, who came into his life to make it better, also started ignoring him, which truly made everything go sour from there. 
Later, on July 2009, Season 7 premiered with the episode Anti-Poof, which introduced Foop, Poof's anti-fairy, who became a new recurring character. And to me, this was a point where it felt like the characters making dumb jokes felt more of a priority than the actual story. Two years later, in 2011, the show reached its 10th anniversary. And to celebrate, the show released a live-action movie called A Fairly Odd Movie, Grow Up Timmy Turner, which premiered on July 9, 2011, starring Drake Bell as Timmy Turner and Daniela Monet as Tootie. It wasn't the most well-received, but I thought it was passable. That same year, Season 7 continued and Season 8 premiered. And Season 8 is the shortest season I've ever seen for any cartoon season ever. Four 22-minute specials and a TV movie called Timmy's Secret Wish. All of these aired throughout 2011, and the following year, in 2012, there were no episodes at all, except for one random episode from Season 7. In December 2012, there was a sequel called A Fairly Odd Christmas, which also was not that good either. After that hiatus, the show came back in 2013 with Season 9. Just like in Spongebob, Season 9 of The Fairly Odd Parents was the first season produced in HD, and it was in widescreen, and it introduced a new main character, Sparky the Fairy Dog. Sparky was a rather annoying character and added almost nothing to the series. Only a few episodes of Season 9 aired in 2013, and then most of them came out in 2014. That same year, the show released a third and final live-action movie called A Fairly Odd Summer on August 2nd, 2014, and was considered the worst of the trilogy. Season 9 wrapped up with its final few episodes in 2015. The following year, in 2016, Season 10 premiered the most universally hated season of the show. This season wrote Sparky off the series due to the negative response from fans, but it added a new main character, Chloe Carmichael, who was a girl that Timmy had to share Cosmo and Wanda with. Even the theme song was changed and everybody hated it. Just like with seasons 6 through 9, the jokes became annoying and some of the characters were dumbed down to the point where they were no longer likable, and the Timmy neglect continued with Cosmo and Wanda paying more attention to Chloe than Timmy at times. Of course, Butch Hardman stated himself that these characters were added because Nickelodeon wanted him to add them, and we all know how that turned out. The following year in 2017, the show switched from its usual animation to Adobe Flash animation and it looked so ugly and not fluid at all. The show was also moved to Nicktoons where the final few episodes aired. The final episode produced was Fancy Schmancy which aired on February 1st 2017 on Nicktoons. The final episode to air was The Kale Patch Caper which aired on July 26, 2017 on Nicktoons. Both of them were bad episodes, and the show did not end on a very good note. The show ended that year after a 16 year run, and in terms of the actual episode amount, it's a bit tricky. The show had 172 production hours, but if we don't include the live action movies, the Oh Yeah cartoon shorts, or the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour movies, the total amount of individual episodes is 281. However, including all three of the aforementioned, it brings the total to 297 individual episodes. And that is a basic history of the Fairly Odd Parents. It was interesting to find out the show started as part of that Oh Yeah Cartoons anthology because I had never seen those shorts when I was younger. And it's sad that the show went downhill over the years due to Nickelodeon requesting Butch Hartman to add new main characters, but it just goes to show that while adding new characters can work if done right, it just wasn't done right in this instance. I understand why they felt the need to add new characters, and I sympathize with Butch Hartman for doing that to keep the show going, but it's unfortunate the show ended on a sour note. It would have been nice to see the show enter a renaissance phase like Spongebob did before the spin-offs came out, but at least the show ended and hasn't had a version that goes against what made it good in the first place, which only exists as a cheap cash grab. In 2018, when Brian Robbins became president of Nickelodeon and announced Spongebob spinoffs, he also decided to jump on the reboot bandwagon. And one of those reboots is a live-action reboot of The Fairly Odd Parents. In 2021, there was news that the reboot would be live-action and Timmy Turner would take a backseat to new characters. 
Already, that's two big steps in the wrong direction. The live action movies weren't very good, and introducing new characters is one of the biggest factors that turned the show bad in the first place. On February 23rd, 2022, a trailer dropped revealing that the reboot is nothing more than a generic modern day sitcom with Cosmo and Wanda squirted into it and does not show anything that shows what made the series beloved in the first place. Oh right, and it also has the subtitle of Fairly Otter and is coming to Paramount+. Plus. Unfortunately, the show released on March 31st, 2022. Great timing! And the worst part is the fact that it exists. I love the Fairly Odd Parents when it was on the air. While the lows got more and more apparent as time went on, I still have a lot of fond childhood memories of it, and I enjoyed going through its history. While I would have loved to see the show bounce back and enter a renaissance phase after it went downhill like Spongebob did, I'd still say the sour ending of the original series is a better fate than that dumbass reboot they're making, and the fact that the reboot exists actually gives me less faith in humanity now. But now that I think about it, the reboot did come out one day before April Fool's Day, so maybe it was an April Fool's prank after all. Damn it, I guess not.